Hey guys, so I am going to talk about my harassment stories. Yes, stories, you heard right. I have been harassed three times in three different jobs. And it just feels like I'm going to just be harassed my whole life. Um, so, let's talk about my first one. So, I did security for five weeks. Um, I was new. Um, so it was the second day I had to punch in. I didn't know how to punch in. Um, I had to do it on the register. So I went up to this guy and I said, Hey, can you show me how to uh, punch in the register? I don't know how to do it. And he, he, what he does is does this. He basically looks down and up at me and went, I don't believe girls should be security. Oh, he, no, no. He went, Oh, you're the new security girl. I don't believe girls should be security. And I went, oh, okay, that's nice. Can you show me how to punch in? And he showed me. And I should have reported him right then and there. I didn't. Um, it was like a couple of days after because he started walking around. As I'm walking, looking like at the walk around and uh, like see if anybody's like shoplifting or looks suspicious or something. And I'm walking around and he's like behind me or next to me and he's saying weak or, you know, um, he said a couple other things. I just can't remember. It's been so long. Um, but uh, he he didn't really get to me because... So I played percussion before. I, I played percussion. I played drums. Girl percussionist. Um, so I've always like... I don't know. I want to say harassed. But I've always been treated differently. That one, You know. Oh, a girl percussionist. You know. That's more of a guy's instrument. You know, I've, I've heard that kind of stuff. So I was kind of tough in a way. But the, when he actually got to me, um, it was June 15, 2015. We were all, I was on the second floor. Well, he, he was on the second floor too with me. And I was walking and he was walking towards me. And he grabs me and he throws me at the wall. And... Um, I was like shaken up and I, that really hurt that. I mean, I, he hurt me and I looked up and I saw an HR lady. She saw the whole entire thing and she walked in the bathroom and I'm like, you know, so I follow her in the bathroom. I talked to her and she told me that don't bring this up again or I'm going to get fired. And I looked at her and I'm like, and then I started questioning, um, two other coworkers about it. And she's like, Oh no, she, she's HR. She has to file the report. And, so I believe that maybe, but it was just something sounded off. Um, I had, I did uh, go to my boss a couple times because he would walk around and call me weak. But my boss was like, oh no, he, he's just joking with you. Um, they were best buds. And then the HR lady that I reported to was his girlfriend. Yeah, that's why she never filed the report. It was a mess. It was, it was a mess. Um, yeah, they, they basically, um kept him safe you know I think he was a manager on the first floor but yeah they didn't really think me I, I tried fighting it they said oh there's nobody named that and I have two employees like two co-workers that time they're like yeah his name's that you know and um what the one thing I did wrong was I did I did eh, I went to the wrong person reported or if I actually went to the right person, they just didn't do anything. Um, I should have went higher. Um, the other thing I did, made a mistake was I went and I told friends. Well, they're not friends anymore. They're ex-friends. And they kind of made it in their own situation. It's a very, it's a long story with that. Um, I found out they were part of a gang. Didn't know they were. Uh, they actually threatened my life because... I heard something that they did, and it was just a big mess. Um, they left me alone, finally. That was a big... I. But that job, basically afterwards, when I, I tried going to court, they just... It was, it was horrible. Um, that was the first time I've ever, ever been harassed at work. And I just... I was so emotional. I was just like... You know, I should have won that, that case because of him. 
um, they also deleted all the cameras. I wanted all the cameras, and they, they, they said they accidentally deleted the camera footage. And I'm like, I know exactly what time. I actually know, you know, like this, this, this. This is when he, you know, this is when he uh, pushed him the wall. This is the camera that should be on. They deleted the camera's footage. And no one thought, hmm, I wonder why they deleted. No, they accidentally deleted the camera footage. No. And then they said, oh, that they deleted that or something. And I knew while working there, they keep the footage for, for six months before they delete it. So... There were some things, oh, we didn't have that. That already was deleted. They were they were covering it for him. That was the first time I was harassed. Uh, second time I was harassed, my last job. Um, so I'm a very fast learner. I pick up really fast. And I'm very quiet. I'm a shy person. And I started working there. and My dad worked there as well. I'm not going to say what job. I'll just say it's assembly job. Um, and I was an operator. And I remember um, they, I'm really fast paced. I love being fast paced. And they put me on a real fast machine. And this other guy was there. And he likes this machine as well. And uh, they noticed that I was a lot better than him. I, I didn't know. That's why they were, they put me on there and they pushed him away. Um, I didn't do the schedule. He started getting jealous over me. Didn't know he was jealous. Um, found out just afterwards. And then, uh, I mean, I, I did my job. I did my job as, job as best as I can. Um, why I didn't do security after security? It's because I had a concussion. So, that's why I don't do security anymore. I'm afraid of heights now. I can't, I can't do stairs. But back to the assembly, so, um, so he goes to, he goes, they push in the boxing room, you know, and I didn't know, I'm just doing my job. Um, and then he starts complaining about being the Hall Miller, um, operator. And I'm like, I mean, he talked about it and we bas we basically got full time around the same time. I was there for four months. He was there for I don't know, two, three years, I don't know, before he got full-time. Um, so he was this operator. He complained about it all the time, didn't want to be on there, da, da da And I thought we were friends, and I said, hey, you want me to try to be, you know, you know, be an operator, maybe you take a break, be an operator on that? And he's like, he's like, oh, yes, please, can you do that? So when I had my little talk with the boss and stuff, they said, oh, what do you want to do? And I said, I'd like to become a Hall Miller operator. And they were like this. This machine breaks down all the time. And they never get their numbers. Um, I got on that machine. Um, I started finding tricks. And I, and I share with the other operators tricks. Like do half the bag this, do this. And um, we, so before I went on there, they were always like in a day, like, 76 percent in a day um when i got on it it was like 172 percent type it was like you know i found tricks and i shared with the other operators you know um i shared tricks here they shared tricks with me and we were able to you know get the machine running like most time it wouldn't break as much uh, we found tricks how to fix things. We did this. I mean, we shared. I communicated with them, you know. And I didn't know he was jealous. Um, one guy said to me afterwards that he would throw up his arms in the air after they would read the percents, you know. Um, I really liked the machine. I really did. Um, he started, he called me the C word, and I was just like, thrown back at it, um, he started, he yelled at me near my locker, that's, the, so the clean room doesn't have cameras, and that's most of the time where he would harass me, you know, and I don't really remember everything he said to me, because it's, it's been a while, and I kind of, like, I remember certain things, he called me the C word, um, he said my dad fixed all the problems, John Dunn, you know, and he, but, like, he called me the C word. I can't remember everything he, he called me. Like, 
I can't, I, I can't, it's been so long, it's, you know, and that's a good thing, right? Um, this was in 2018. So, I mean, he would, he would slam the door on me, like, you know, it's just, um, and then he, th I know he threatened me over Facebook, and then I showed that to HR and my boss, and they were like, oh, there's no way, da da da. Um, I did some upgrade on my phone. I can't, like, I didn't upgrade on my phone. I did, I did something like, I don't know, I delete, like, I accidentally deleted all the messages, and I'm like, oh no, and I'm like, oh good, that's all right, I have screenshots of what he said, and, but, when I, like, I, I'm like, try to get it back, and it was like, oh, this is horrible, you know, and I told them, like, this is what he did, and I'm like, look at his phone, you know, maybe it's still on his phone, I never grabbed his phone, um, and then, we were like, I was, it was just horrible there, because I'm like, why did I actually delete these messages, you know, why, you know, and, but, it's okay, because he got fired. You know, he did. Um, they got rid of me, because they told me they didn't believe that he would ever harass, like, he would never harass me, da, da, da. And I looked at them, like, you know, he's harassing me. Like, I got there as well. Um, there was an email sent, I don't know, to him. I don't, I really don't know what it was. But they were blaming me with the email. I'm, like, I'm not emailing anything. Um, I took all my my phone, my laptop, my iPad, you know, all my devices to a computer forensic guy. He looked at all my devices. He says, you're not sending emails to them. Thank you. And there's my proof. Not sending any emails. Because they were saying, you were sending, I'm like, I'm not sending anything. Um, so I have this big booklet proof. It was him. Um, there was an officer talking to him, and the officer told us that he basically said, well, my friend, uh, really, computer, da, da. he basically told on his friend, so he said, yeah, it's him, but they took his side, and of course, I wanted to, so the HR lady that was on the case, there's rumors that that's his aunt. I don't know how true it is, but, you know, it's always, they always know someone. Um, what else I was going to tell you? Oh, so I think it was 2019. I want to say 2019. Um, he was fired from his job. Um, what I heard was he was in the boxing room. He started talking about things he did to me and a supervisor was right behind him. And, uh, also he was also starting to harass someone else. So he was, he was walked out and fired. So... And then I guess everybody else was like, bring me back, bring my dad back. They brought, they got rid of my dad too. Um, they said, oh, he said this and this. The guy that, that time that was my, was like a specialist. He said, oh, my dad said this, this, this. He wasn't even there that day. He just made something up and they covered, they, they, you know, got, got rid of both of us. So, yeah, that was, that was horrible. It's always something. This one, I'm actually, I'm at the job now. Um, I reported back in, was it, I'm trying to think, was it 20, 20, I think it was 2020. Um, I had, a, I was under a different boss. So, this coworker, female this time, this is not male, this is female. So, female, um, so I'm again, I'm a very fast learner. I'm quiet. Um, and my boss at that time said it was jealousy. So at that, so uh, I'm trying to think how I can say this. So she, um, I'm trying to think, oh, I'm trying to think how to, all right. Um, so she basically, she got jealous over me. Because I was going up, 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 and she wasn't. We were both trained. I decided to became become a tra trainer. Um, 
I started training a whole bunch of people. She didn't. Da, 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 I mean, but that was it. like I start going up, up, up. Um. So at that time, I had a friend. My best friend was still alive at that time, and we would do prank wars in mail by the, by the mail. And she wanted in on it, and I was like, uh, I don't know. And she's like, I thought I was your friend, and. And, um, she started sending me stuff in the mail and it was an appropriate thing. It was really, and I told her, don't do that. And, uh, she was emailing me and, um, another thing is I never gave her my email. She found it online. A lot of people actually can find my stuff online. If you know my first and last name, you know where I live, you know where my email, it's nothing's private anymore. Um, so she started sending things in the mail of me. And, uh, I, I really didn't want to send it anything. And she actually gave me a list of what the center, which was like, that's not how it works. That's not how prank wars work, but whatever. So I started sending things just to shut her up type thing. Um, it got to a point where my best friend passed away and he's the one who started the prank wars and I wanted to stop. And she's like, oh, just send me one more thing. Just one more thing. And so I sent these socks to her just to shut her up because she really wanted these socks. And then the next day at work, she's like, I told you not to send me anything. And I'm like, there was a, I mean, I still have the email of her telling me that she wants, you know, you saw the, so she started, you know, I wanted to stop. She didn't want to stop. She was getting free stuff basically. And she was sending me stuff too, but, um, she switched it basically saying, you know, that she didn't want this, that she didn't ask for it. And I'm like, did you, you know, you're the one and. She basically lied, um, so she turned it on to me, and then she started still sending stuff to me, um, I ended up getting the police involved, and it did stop, um, but then she started telling people that I'm sending my stuff, stuff in the mail, and it's, you know, I'm like, no, it's not, and I had to go to the police about it, um, I think once I started telling her that I went to the police about it. She, she stopped. Um, but she started getting other, like, she got other people to harass me at work. Um, cause she was calling me out. I'm calling you out. La, 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 la. And I'm like, you know, stop sending your stuff, like self stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what is this? You know? Um, but they told me they talked to her and they said she's jealous of me. And, yeah, I'm like, I thought we were good friends until that. Um, no, but she still gets people to harass me and people like, don't trust that girl. And I'm just like, what do I do? Um, she actually started harassing a friend of mine. He told me today that she stopped with that. I mean, it still happens. People talk about me, and I'm like, that's not true. You know, she loves spreading rumors that aren't true, and she it's, it always feels like it's about me, and I'm like, that's not true. That's not true. Um, but yeah, she found my email, I think it was November or December 2019. Started emailing me, and I'm like, how did you get my email? And, you know, she's like, oh, I just found it online. You know, I thought you wouldn't mind. We're just friends, and da, 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 da. I'm just like, oh, jeez. And it, you know, at first I didn't think it was her. I almost thought it was, you know, my last harasser, because he, he's like that, you know. And then I'm like, no, it's her, because the stuff that she would talk in the email the next day she would talk at work, so I knew it was her. Um, and then just to kept oh it was just horrible uh but she got other people her asked me um i started hearing people oh we can get her fired let's get her fired I, that's when i went to the boss and i said and they said oh is it so and so and i'm like yep and uh and she just they said it's jealousy you yeah. know they said she was trying to get away for like she was trying to be friendly with you first get you with joking try to figure out you to do something not 
you know, harmful or anything, just to a point where she can, you know, target you with something and try to get you fired from that. Um, what they told me was she's been there for 20 years. She sleeps around with people. She knows higher up people. They said it's not worth it to fight it. Yeah. So I deal with her harassing me a lot at work. It, it's actually gotten better. But I'm not going to go forward with it because she's been there so long. She knows people and I've been harassed already for two other jobs and look how they worked out. You know, I try to fight it. Oh, and anyway, the last one, I the second one on that guy, that my assembly job. Um, I'm doing I'm doing assembly too again, but the other assembly job. Um, I tried fighting it. The company actually backed him up. So every time I won, I did win. I did win. Every time I won, they kept appealing and appealing and appealing and appealing. Um, so they were draining me out of my own money. So I did, I did win, but they kept appealing. And that's when I had to drop the case. Um, but yeah, I dropped the case, the first one, the second one. I wanted to go to the court again, but I was like, you know, I'm not going to deal with that. The court system sucks. Um, I mean, literally, you just need proof with the camera. Like, if I had camera proof, I would have won. I would have been like, see, look, you know. But... Yeah, I've been harassed. It feels like my whole life. I know I get harassed because I'm shy. I know I get harassed because I'm a fast learner. I mean, it sucks being harassed. It really does. I mean, you should like if you are being harassed. Yes, you you should report. But it always doesn't work when you report. But yeah, it's my harassment story, guys. It sucks, right? <laughs>